this game is going to be interesting. You know, I mentioned before how uh, Pac-Man is one of the best disadvantaged states in the game, yeah. according to a lot of people. But Ness doesn't care about disadvantage no, state he because does not. he just hits you with the 79% combo. It kind of just explodes. He's, he's like, he's like, uh, ledge trapping is for cowards. <laughs> I, I just down smash. I down smash. I hold, I hold ledge and. Although I actually shooting. believe that. Pac-Man trampoline kind of bypasses down smash, if I remember correctly. Oh, actually? I, we'll, I find, we'll find out. I believe so. Um, if we don't ever see him charge down smash at the ledge, that's probably because he knows and he's not going to bother. <gasps> oh, oh, boy. And right now... That the was the first percent Shinji has got. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, 78% uncontested. Right now, Shinji is looking uh, like he's in a really tough spot. PK Chris is magnificent at this moment, but this is that possible first opening, but, man, you have to respect Ness's buttons. Like, he doesn't necessarily have, like, an amazing disadvantage state. It's definitely good. It's definitely good. But the thing is, you have to respect the fact that he can throw out these very quick moves. Yeah. That are also, like... They're not only quick, they're huge, too. Like, back air and forward air are bigger than they seem. <laughs> yeah, not only that, but the fact that uh, his combo breaker moves also kill... Yeah! <laughs> back air. He hit him with back air at a disadvantage earlier. Neutral air. Yeah, that's kind of wild. I see, like, well, I feel like Nair is more of a scary one, too, because it covers more range than back air does, but back air is just a stronger one. Yeah. Oh, I love a lot. Okay. The, 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 the big thing about that is it means that making comebacks on Ness is so hard to do. Yes, it because is. Because he has so many. He is well, one of the best characters in last hit situations. Yes, because he has a, he has a back throw. He has just so many ways to kill you. But he is very, very, very guardable. Yeah. And I do know that we probably will be seeing uh, Shinji use the Hydrant to help Edgar. Mm -hmm. So uh, that down there, that he just died. He straight up exploded. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry, Shinji. That, that's really unfortunate for you. I will also say, um, that first stock, it... It felt like the first part of it, the first 80% happened in the blink of an eye, and it, then this it, game kind of gets slowed down to the yeah. point where, like, if you look at the timer right now, we Holy are looking my at God. 444. Two uh, minutes passed already? Two and, almost two and a half minutes have passed already. We very feasibly could see it. it I don't think it will necessarily come to that, but I think we could see it become relevant, where at the very least, Shinji will be too pressured to, you know, it's like I can't go time to charge up all of my cool setups because I have to worry about the clock. So if you're PK Chris, I think that he knows that. Look at the way he's not approaching. He was just like tossing things out. He is going to hold on to this fruit because uh, oh, he wanted to re-grab it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Chris will content to play a very reserved, laid back game. I do love that because the key oh, is yeah. kind of the answer to that. When somebody's like being a little bit too comfortable, hanging on the other side of the stage, just chuck that key at him. Say, I don't need to go home tonight. Here, have this. Oh, mm, that didn't kill, though. Wow. Find his way to kill his. No, not yet. Nice with the PK. PK Flash just install that. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That, that trampoline also acts as a hit that uh, can shorten down um, Ness's PK Thunder distance. So this reserve game that Chris is playing is really working out for him. Because right now, Shinji has been as struggling to find a way to get this kill. At the same time, he is doing a pretty decent job of not taking too much percent. If he's able to kill PK Chris right now, I would call this a pretty even game, especially because of the fact that, you know, one Galaxian combo would pretty much even it up. Agreed, but they're doing a lot of nickel and diming. And Pac-Man, Pac-Man's aerials are fast, but they don't do a lot of damage as compared to the Ness, who can definitely do a, all of the single hit aerials. And his forward is a lot more damage than Pac-Man. And also, I want to reflect once more on the timer. We are yeah. now below three minutes. Even if Sinji does manage to get this skill right Maybe now, dead. which he doesn't, oh my god. Bye -bye. Oh, that's... Ugh. Have a nice flight. Yeah, at this point, basically, Sinji needs to kill PK Chris immediately, <laughs> which he does. <laughs> and now he needs an edge guard. He only has two and a half minutes to basically make this comeback happen. If he gets some clutch edge guard or some way of doing tons of damage, like, it, at this point, he needs to be so careful. Every every mistake that he makes means he's eating percent, which is not something he can afford right now. Oh, Two minutes on the clock might seem like a long time, but it is going to go by very quick. All right, now 
He's been having Chris pay rent at this ledge, Are you and kidding? now it's an even game. Jesus Hold Christ! Hold on a second. I the last five minutes even happen. All right, and it, the timer's still relevant though. Yes, right. it is. Yeah, it about is. two oh, minutes. They're, left they're gonna play the clock. They're gonna play the clock. Oh yeah, no. If whoever has the lead is going to be playing to that clock, and right now it's actually Sinji. Sinji by a micro percent. Oh, with Galaxian in hand, it's actually going to be huge damage! Oh, Chris not making huge advantage of that. Trying to get the tech in play, trying to get the tech roll in, but no, no caps on that. Oh, nice movement with that down air, with that down air A landing. Yeah, 79%. The other part about this is that, you know, Sinji is going to end up being at death percent much sooner than PK Chris. Even oh, if the percents move up at the exact same leg, like rate. Oh my I god! I take it dude. back! I take it all back! The call out, dude! <laughs> That's the second forward smash in the corner that he got! I he Sinji just, was he down ran by ran up to him like a track runner and just <laughs> blinky said hello. I very rarely in the game, in general, do you see three stocks, one comebacks. I think that we, in Ultimate, it's kind of, you don't see it very often. You do not. I wouldn't say very Sin often. It's like out of 100% of games, 40% of the time they happen. I'd say that, because they happen no, more often. Three stocks to one, I would say 10% of them a comeback happens at most. Okay. I actually want to crunch the data on this, because it's something I know, that is I've, very I've important. I've done it a couple of times. I know everyone does say they've, they've, everyone's done it a couple of times, and that's the ones they remember. That's, yeah. uh, con <laughs> that's confirmation bias right there. It happened to me too. It, ha it can but, happen uh, to you. Uh, the, the other thing, that, oh, but the, the part B to that is that Shinji, despite the fact he's a fantastic player, very rarely do you see him make those kind of comebacks happen. Especially when the clock had already ticked down as much as it did. That was nothing but immaculate, beautiful play from Sinju in order to make that comeback a reality. And all of a sudden, now we're in game two and he has a lead once more. Yeah, it's like a lot of people are used to Sinji playing the reserve slow game. Like, I'm just going to like play the lane Pac-Man. But then when you see him go in, when you see him as a death, and he knows how to like, when the going gets tough, Sinji gets going. Yeah. He knows what to do. <laughs> so, like, no matter how the course of this game goes, I'm not going to count Sinji out. Of course, I'm not going to count Chris out either. Yeah. I think right there you saw that the trampoline also went right past the uh, the charge of the down smash. So I'm fairly certain that actually uh, trampoline does bypass it. Oh. I could be wrong, uh, but I s vaguely recall that. If I am wrong, uh, somebody tell me, and I will uh you. Not yet. Choosing to sit there and shield. No need to try and push the button on Naz when he's up smashing there. Since he's playing the ledge game, even, what? What? even in what? what the hell was that? That was, I definitely since he was not anticipating being put in that position. Because out he, upbeat like at, a, he upbeat at totally the wrong space. Another forward smash. That's just got the charge on that one too. That's that's life for PK Chris right now. <laughs> yeah, now he has to play this. He thought he thought it was bad getting ghosted by his girl. <laughs> now he's getting. I hope he didn't get ghosted by his girl. That would suck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether he has a girl and whether or not she has, in fact, ghosted him. Uh, but if Sinji was his girl, <laughs> Sinji would be ghosting him because that's all he's been doing right. this set. <laughs> Hitting him with his girl. Jeez, trying to get the two frame. I forget those do hit on the ledge. Forcing right. Chris to jump. Ooh, but Ness doesn't mind jumping into the sky, especially not against Pac-Man, you know. Man. I do want to dwell for just a moment, once again, on the timer. <laughs> because we're at 420 right now, blaze it. Uh, but this is the sort of thing where the, the way the match is going right now, I think we're probably going to not see a timeout. Absolutely but not, if, not. They're fighting. They're but if, if one of them elects to slow things down, like really slow things down, that's something they can play to. The timer is not, you know, it's not unfeasible. No, not at all. Both of them. Oh, my. Oh, <gasps> he should have died for that, right? He nah. back his shield at the ledge. He did, but. I Chris swear that was shield grabbable. Not. Oh, oh. Not pr no, he was holding a, um, he was holding the cherry. You're right. Oh, that was so smart of Sinji. He knew that he could do that only because he was holding the cherry. 
That's I love that, man. The fact that, that Sinji good. knows when his opponent's Ooh. options, they grab the fruit thinking it's theirs. They grab the fruit thinking like, aha, I've removed one of your best tools. And then Sinji's like, uh, you've also run. removed all of your out of shield options. Yeah. That's been Chris, he's showing it doesn't need out of shield options right there. Getting him with that up smash. Well, he could Z-drop the cherry out of shield, but uh, that's not much useful. Like, Z-drop it and then into neutral air? Yeah. Sort of. But it's like, that wouldn't have gotten the kill. No, that but it would have put him in an advantage away. situation. Got Pac-Man off him so he could breathe. Yeah. I just choosing a box right now. Or should I say take one going right now? Getting all the feet on him. Yeah. It, that is one of the, actually the nice advantages for uh, Nest. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> what? That was a Chekhov's, like, Hydrant right there. I thought the Hydrant was gone. Just a PK Chris, and he tried to kill him. He Man. tried to kill him. Whenever that Hydrant gets hit by the uh, the home run, that it just wants to get out of there. Yeah, it, it's gone. It's like to the moon, like the Ooh. Ooh. Shinji right now is actually down by just a little bit. Oh, that little bit is getting to be quite a bit more, though. Oh, no. This is the thing, 110%. There's so many things that Sinji has to be careful about. So many ways that PK Chris can take a stock at this point. Meanwhile, PK Chris can be relatively comfortable. It's based on how, you know, far along Sinji is. Now he can't be comfortable because no, that's Bell that in bell, hand. And he's gone. Bye-bye. Another Bell confirmed to take the stock. Take the game, I should say. I, uh, <laughs> I hate... I, just, I I hate this curse I've been I've been blessed with. <laughs> I just said he has bell in and well now he can't be he has bell in hand and then he died and then from bell in died hand because of the bell. Salty, but you might you might be psychic, man. I don't know what's going on. I will say I have a disgusting success rate of saying oh, I can't believe he just lost this game when he gets hit once. <laughs> like when some you and somebody's winning and then they get hit and I'm yep. like I can't believe he just lost this game. Yep. I swear to God yep. I have like a seventy percent accuracy rate when I oh, do Jesus that. Christ. Nice. Okay, anyways, uh, game three. Since he's looking to work on his 3-0, denying Chris him to run back with uh, Quid. That being said, PK Chris, not a fan of being taken out in 3-0 fashion. Mm -mm. And as this game has gotten off to a blazing start for him, about 92% onto Sinji. And that's relatively uncontested. And, oh, you know, I will say we have been... It's, it's strange to say, but I feel like for the most part, we're actually seeing PK Chris struggle to kill from neutral. Yeah, you don't really, you're not really used to seeing that at all. It's like, it's, as a Ness player with a lot of aerial, a lot of aerials that'll just, like, straight up just kill you at wrong, at, like, high percent. Yeah. Aerials that kill, a grab that kills, a dash attack that kills. There are so many kill options available to the character, and I think it speaks to the fact that Sinji is able to play around his... Lethera, the myriad of kill options he has so beautifully. That ledge stall was beautiful. I just want to point that out. Ooh, what? Bonk. Get him out of here. Oh, for high recovery. This is how he died in that game one. Bye That's got to be it. No? No? Oh, no, yeah, he can't. Bye bye. He wasn't able to get close enough to bonk. Not on PS2. Nope. No way. <laughs> he bounced into it. Yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that didn't sweet spot? Hi. Oh, Chris is in shambles right now. Uh, that yeah. was so Who's good. in the back off? No need to chat. No need to contest. That's not, yeah. that's not smash. Unless you want to die. But you can die to dash attack too. Anyways, uh, two stocks piece. Very, oh. very, very I close game. Still have to question why they made that dash attack to kill like, Ness needs more options. All right, Look apparently at the he does. From Sinji. Whoa. <laughs> the Pac Man sauce. <laughs> yeah, Sinji's been cooking up in the lab, I see. He got Pac Man to go all these foods for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And the way he's baiting PK Chris. Look at the spacing right now. He's always just barely outside of PK Chris's range. Yeah. Very much so he recognizes That's the range dead. and then he baits him to make an option and catches him with the bell. Sinji is playing phenomenal today. This is honestly, we're on the verge of seeing a 3-0. Yes, we are. Chris needs to find a way to break through this wall, this fortress. I'm not even going to call it a wall because walls just sit there and play defense. This is the fortress. It's attacking you. It has trebuchets, man. It has cannons. It has fruit coming out the wazoo. Mm-hmm. 
Nice, there we go. Finally seen Oh, that's that not way. as high trade. Oh, no. Hi, oh, he's down to grab the ledge. Man, Sinji has been getting... I, I, I guess so. Sinji does that ledge jump into neutral air quite frequently. And I guess the response for that, if you're PK Chris, is to do like a full hop forward air or maybe like a well-spaced short hop forward air. But like, if you think about why he wouldn't do that, the commitment involved of taking to the air and throwing out a move like that. It's just, it's so hard, especially when you're down by this much to try and make big call-outs. I know it's necessary, but at the same it. time. Sinji's uh, been bravely going right past the ledge. <laughs> Jesus. I'm surprised that bell wasn't active. Me neither. He just kind of flew right through it. That was some, like, bell... Bell knew its master type thing. Ay, ay, ay. How many forward smashes? How many it's does like, it take? I knew he was searching for the forward smash on the way he just like he was just running up and boxing him. 